Uh, I saw the, the sign uh, down on the street. It said you're selling uh, rabbits and bunnies here. Yeah. Uh, for sale. You want pets or meat? Uh, pets or meat? You meaning I can I can buy the bunnies to to have as a pet, or I can buy them for meat. They're already dressed and cleaned. I butcher the babies when the babies reach four or five months old. Well, that's good. <laughs> you see, if you butcher the older ones like these guys, then they're stewers. Mm -hmm. They're not fryers. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people likes fryers better yeah. than they do the stewers. Yeah, that makes sense. So I keep my own personal stock, and then when my babies get four or five months old and I have 15, 20 babies, you got to get rid of them some way. Yeah, that's true. Well, if that's... you don't sell them as pets, you got to get rid of them as meat. These guys are all meat. But see, they start doing this to each other. What's that? Peeing on each other and stuff like that when they get older. And if you don't have uh, 10 separate cages for them, then they start fighting, and then the males will castrate the other males, and if they do, they chew their balls and right off. Then you have a bloody mess. So that's why you gotta butcher them when they get a certain age, or you have a heck of a mess. What's gonna happen to him? He's gonna be eaten. <laughs> gonna be our supper on the supper table. What's the matter, huh? <laughs> I don't know. What, what are you guys crying about? How do you slaughter them? Hung them upside down and stripped their fur off. And gutted them. And chopped their heads off. Now you know what I'm talking about.
Come on, cut the crap. You wouldn't be here if something wasn't bugging you. I told you I'm here with Hopper. <laughs> Probably their best protection for home is is the shotgun, short barrel shotgun. Why is that? Well, it's easy to handle, and if you do have to shoot, you're not liable to miss. And when they hear that uh, pumpkin, when you rack that, there's no other sound that's like it, and usually you don't have to fire it. They get go uh, get moving pretty fast yep. and they'll move away oh yes yep. and they know exactly what you have you don't have to say i have a gun in my hand and they know what it'll do because it'll really tear them up
cost. Yes, there you, is a document you, that came out last year supported by the Defense Department from Monterey who said there's no reason to kick military people that are gay out. It looked at a very, it looked at one facet. Oh. It was only the security issue. It's the only thing it looked at. That's the main issue, one of the when main issues that the military gives. The security issue. you have complaints from large numbers of member, military members, in this case female military members, heterosexuals, that this is something that bothers them, this is something that, that de degrades their quality of life, that's a problem. Degrades that's, their quality that's, that's, that's of it. life? That's a problem. Oh, really? You've heard The tension in Oka today subsided almost as quickly as it had heated up. Just about an hour after the army stopped its advance, soldiers looked relaxed, calmly going about routine chores, establishing their perimeter. And they may be here for a while. There will be no more military movements on the perimeter. Lieutenant General Foster said talks between the Mohawks and the army are going on. And he says there is no deadline for working out an agreement. The open line to the warriors is now being used by Terry Duxbetter. And it remains open. And we are talking. I will not jeopardize his efforts by discussing the subject of those calls. He has no deadline to meet. During the day, there were informal discussions between the Mohawks and the soldiers here, but the main negotiations are going on by telephone over senior officers in Montreal. Most of the day, the two sides here just stared at one another. For now, the army is digging in, securing its position, watching the Mohawks. On the other side of the highway, the Mohawks are watching the army, and both sides are waiting to see what happens in the negotiations. Tony Ross, CBC News, Oka.